<clears throat> Hi everyone. So, uh, I don't know how many people have watched my previous sewing video because I haven't, as I'm speaking, actually posted it yet. I'm still waiting to film the reveal because the weather's miserable, it's very dark, so the lighting's a bit weird. Today, I'm very sorry, but today we're going to start a new sewing video. So, I'm going to attempt... Yes, this first. I just know him jumping up on his spread. Um, <laughs> he's eating a biscuit, sorry. Um, so yeah, there are hundreds of videos on this dress on YouTube. Um, if you've seen any of them, you'll know that sometimes the fit of this dress is questionable. So I made a toile, a mock-up if you will. Uh, out of a king size uh, duvet cover that I bought from a charity shop and it seems to fit me fine so I'm just going to go with the pattern I will say though that very normally when I make a pattern um, a dress pattern I well if I buy clothes I'm a size 10 if I do a sewing pattern um, I usually make it for a size 12 it's usually American sizes that I'm using. However, this pattern I bought online and it was pretty, it, somebody had already cut it second hand. Um, it's so dark, isn't it? Um, somebody had already cut it to a size 14, so I thought I'll just, I'll just go straight with the size 14. So, because it does actually match some of my measurements, this waist measurement it matches the most. And for some reason, even though it's bigger on the bust, or it should be bigger on the bust, it actually seems to fit me just fine, as I say. So, yes. So I would say definitely make a mock-up. See where you're at with that. I'm going to make the contrast version. And I'm going to have... What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You look at you. I've got this... Uh, Again, a king size duvet, and I'm hoping that's going to be big enough with the skirt because the skirt's massive. Um, I'm going to do the contrast, and I'm going to have this spider's web bit as the front piece, and then this design is going to be the back and the skirt. And I'm hoping I can get it the right way around when I cut the skirt, but I don't know because <laughs> I know that it goes. Some places it's going to be upside down. I'm not going to bother cutting it into four and trying to do that because I'm not. I've never really made a circle skirt before. I don't think I've ever really made a skirt on its own before. I've made shorts and I've made dra uh, dresses, but not a skirt. So this is a circle skirt attached to the dress top, uh, the back piece. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that I can get the circle skirt out of this and the back piece. If I can't get the back piece, then I should be able to use the, one of the pillowcases that came with it. So I've got a bit of extra fabric there to play with. Um, yeah, I think I'll be able to get a back piece out of that. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully I'll have enough fabric to get everything. So, <laughs> I'm going to put on some YouTube and I'm going to try and cut some pieces out. I am on my way to work in a minute, as always. Just filming when I've got time. So let's, as Rachel Maxey would say, let's get into the floor troll <laughs> mode and get this cut out.
Okay, so I've just stitched the darts on the back and I was thinking, oh, should I hand sew them or should I just do them on the machine? And I have the machine out, so I thought I'd do them on the machine. And they're not exactly even, so I'm gonna, that's for the back. I'm gonna do the front darts by hand, I think, just because I know I can get it nice and straight and even. So I'll do that and then I'm going to join the shoulder seams, I think that's the next step. Um, and I'm going to try using a French seam for this dress, because the dress I just made, um, it's got no finishing on the inside and I'm regretting that. So I thought I'd try a French seam for the first time, see how that goes, I don't think it'll be too difficult. Um, yeah. So, give that a go. The dress hanging to drop the hem, and I'm keeping the hem straight. Um, I've had a little bit of an issue with the back piece, it seems to be too long for the skirt, but so I don't think there's any way I'm going to double the skirt, but so it's resulted in a little bit of puckering on the back, which is not great. Um, I've tried it on. And it seems to, because of that, it seems a little further apart at the front now. So definitely going to have to use a loose fastener. Okay, so my sister kindly uh, wore the dress so that I could do the hem. Um, and I pinned the line where the hem needed to go to. So now I'm going to fold up to that line and sew up the hem and then we'll fold it again and that will be our hem done. Now I need to find the end of it. It's a lot of skirt so it might take me some time. Okay, away we go.
Okay, so that's the neck binding all done. Um, I can see some of the fabric here. I'm not really a fan of this bias tape, I have to say. It's not the best. Um, it's not got a lot of I'm used to the bias binding going to the middle and that it's like yeah I don't know maybe I got the wrong kind maybe I'm supposed to fold it but then it would be really small but it's done I've not caught the edges in some places, so what are you going to do? <laughs> Try and trim that back as much as possible. There we go. So now I think I'm going to put the sewing machine away, um, and I will probably just sit here and pin on. bias tape ready for sewing and finishing on the machine and then once that's done we're finished but there well no sorry I mean buttons and button loops but there's so much bias tape to apply I need to go all the way around these armholes and all the way down the sides and Hem is done, and you've seen me do that. It's not perfect, definitely not perfect, but I think once it's on, it's gonna be fine. So, there we go, that's progress for today. I am gonna get back to my YouTube videos and do some pinning. So let's talk about how the dress turned out. So my sewing <laughs> is not great on this dress. Um, the fabric was fraying quite a lot and it was getting frustrating. So there's bits where things are poking out, but it's not too noticeable. I can live with it. Um, dress fits nice. Uh, it's not too. There's sort of a little bit of a gap here where you can see a bit lower than I'd probably want but it's not too bad it's not as bad as I've seen with some videos um, the one thing I do need to alter which is just a really simple thing I made the loop at the back too big so I'm just gonna hitch that in because it made the front of the dress on the right on my right hand side hang down just a little bit unevenly so I just need to tighten that up I just put a little button on the back that I made with resin 
just because I had it and you don't see that button so it doesn't really matter. And the button at the front, the buttons at the front are these little tiny cameos which I thought were really cute, really gothic looking. So that's those. Um, yeah, so I did, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did fold the bias tape when I did the edges. Because um, I, I think I mentioned that the neck, I didn't fold it in half, I just kind of folded it over, which gave quite a wide piece of bias, which is, is fine, I, I quite like the, the way it came out, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with the dress. Uh, so I am going to be making another one, and you will see that. Hopefully, as long as I can do as well. Um, I'll probably put it up if it doesn't as well, so you can see. Well, you'll see. Um, but it's going to be a bit different, um, a bit fun. Uh, yes, I'm working on that now. I have started working on that. So, yeah. Um, and if you were interested, the little kitten, well, she's not a kitten, little cat in the reveal video, the little black one, that's my fiance's cat pumpkin. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think that's it. So uh, if you're interested in the walk away dress, I'm going to post, uh, I'm going to pop a link to Stephanie Canada's videos on the dress in my description because it's a very interesting video if you've never done a walk away dress watch that video first because <laughs> it might put you off <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it is a difficult dress to make so the challenge to set for was how quickly you could make it and I, it took me ages mostly because of the, the bias binding and things like that things that I would change personally um, the neck is quite wide, but I suppose that is supposed to be the style of the time, so I'm not really sure if I'd change that. Um, but the back is too... yeah, the back and the skirt don't seem to match, so I ended up gathering the back a little bit. I don't know if that... well, no, I don't think that was my fault with the darks, because other people have said that they had the same problem so I don't think that's my fault. I think that's the pattern piece. Um it's not long it's not the right size. I think the pattern piece in the original was a lot longer, but I think the skirt piece was a lot bigger as well. So in my next go round I think I'm gonna try making some things bigger. I'm not really a very good seamstress I suppose I, I just normally I just go off the pattern so it's going to be interesting to try and make things better um, myself I think it'll be good I think it's a good experience to play around with these things and make things your own so yeah um, I hope you watched that video <laughs> And enjoy it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you again soon, hopefully. Um, if you would, I've never done this before. If you would like to subscribe, subscribe, please do. I would really love to grow this channel. Um, it's just a little thing I do. I do work for a living. It's just like a little hobby, but you know, one day the dream. <laughs> no, that will never happen. <laughs> But yeah, it, it's good fun and I would like to share with more people. So if you are interested, just subscribe and like and that would be fantastic. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.